Good evening. Good evening. Hi, teacher, you are mute. Ah, y yo ya di toda la clase y yo con el micrófono apagado. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. That is why you were saying hello, hello, teacher, just for me to, to call my attention, right, that it was muted. Okay. Today is a really good day to practice English, okay? We are going to practice some vocabulary from yesterday. We are going to practice some vocabulary from other courses, I mean, from other modules, because we are building the vocabulary. We are building the vocabulary. And to build the vocabulary, there is no other way that um, express the definitions, the concepts using synonyms or, <clears throat> or using a descriptions to get to the point. And we were talking about the product development process, right? Product development process, that's our main topic. So we're going to study today uh, the next part that it is the SWOT analysis, right? The SWOT analysis is for, a, it's for companies to analyze their development. It may, okay, it's meant to provide the visualization of uh, the weaknesses, the strengths, those are, those are in the company, right? And also the, um, the opportunities and the threats, those are out of the company. So it's an internal and an external analysis of aspects really important for the business development. Remember that the, uh, the, the purpose of the business is to earn money, to make profits, right? That's the main purpose. We don't do business just to do it or to be busy. No, we are we don't do that. It has to generate profits. Okay. The revenue is really important. The incomes are the heart of a business. Yeah. If you are not getting incomes, how can you employ people? Right? How can you continue producing? You can't. So you need this kind of tools to continue with a place in a market, okay? Positioning the market, taking advantages of everything that it is around the company, around the market, okay? Um, I will, eh, quisiera tomar ya la asistencia realmente. Vamos a tomar la asistencia porque si no, después se nos va. Acuérdense que el requerimiento es que a las 8 de la noche yo tome la asistencia. It's a requirement that I have to take, I mean, to call the roll at 8 p.m. So I need everybody, please turn your camera on. And when you hear your name, you will say present. Ana Lorena Lobato Orellana. Blanca Jennifer Torres de Martínez. Carlos Alberto Domínguez Martínez. Carlos Eduardo Torres Durán.
Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Carlos Francisco Arias Sánchez. Cristina Edith Ramos Present. Ríos. Present. Okay, and thank you for your punctuality. Um, Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Present teacher. Okay, thank you for being here on time. Ulysses Torres Torres. Present. Welcome and thank you for your punctuality too. Fatima Noemi Umaña Castro. Glenda Josefina Toledo Leiva. Jose Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Osman Atilio Serrano. Present, teacher. Okay. Thank you very much for being here on time, Osman. Karen Lisette Sanchez Castro. Nancy Margarita Moran Moran. Present. Okay. Welcome and thank you for being here right on time, Nancy. Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejia. Present teacher. Oh, thank you very much, Nelson, for being here too, with punctuality. Rafael Alexander Serna Diaz. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening. Thank you for your punctuality, Rafael. Raul Ernesto Gonzalez. Eh, Rosa del Carmen Enriquez Flores. Wilber Alberto Perez Mendez. Present teacher. Okay, thank you for being punctual. Jose Miguel Torres Hernandez. Present. Okay, I think you were the first one joining today, right, Jose Miguel? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, let's look at, I'm seeing Ana Lorena, right? Ana sí, Lorena. Sure. I am here. Great. <laughs> right. okay. Uh, Alguien más se conectó, verdad, en este momento? No, que no haya anotado en la lista ahorita. No, everybody. Okay, people. So let's start the class by. Sí. Okay. Yes. Uh, uh, we're going to continue with the class, okay? We're going to uh, start with short feedback as always, okay? And our agenda, that's the main point. I mean, the first point. And um, it's really important for us to recall everything we are studying because it's a building vocabulary, as I was saying, right? Um, okay. So the agenda for today is our feedback. Then we want to continue with the SWOT analysis. And also we want to prepare a SWOT analysis presentation for today as a manner of um, achieving some more vocabulary and practice the target vocabulary and the grammar structures we have seen. And we are going to analyze, okay? We are going to analyze some new products or, um, uh, well, some new products and product lines. You are going to decide what you want to analyze. So uh, it's going to be up to you. And we are having a discussion after the presentations for um, enriching this thing, right? To having a, a chit chat about the products that you present. Okay, so let's go back with our feedback. In our feedback, we want to include some vocabulary, okay? So let's remember, please, what are the stages of a product development process? 
Okay, the stages of a product development process start with ideas. Okay, it starts with ideas. So everybody, please, I want to hear you saying these words. Please open your microphones and you are going to say the word. This is the vocabulary, okay? Brainstorming. 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 Development. 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 Testing. 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 Launch. 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 Cost. 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 Failure. 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 Okay. Can someone uh, build a concept of the product development process using all these stages? A ver. Let's try to make a definition of the product development process using all these words. How do we start a definition? We start a definition by saying what we are defining, right? So we are going to say <clears throat> they product development process is, uh -huh. tell me guys. Hmm? Ayúdenme hmm. a construirlo. Vamos a ver. Maybe it could be the product development process start with the brainstorming to generate the idea, the main idea, or different ideas to create a product. Then you select one of them and develop the product or something like that. <laughs> great, great. Outstanding. Okay, we you will say with the brainstorming, developing the best idea, mm -hmm. testing it, right? Testing it uh, to to the time of launching it, right? To the time of launching. Paraphrasing. Okay. Aquí lo parafraseo un poquito lo que ella dijo porque sí dijo muy bien. You said it correctly. Ok. ¿Alguien se atreve a ver, a hacer una definición usando esas palabras? Así siguiendo ese proceso. Vamos. ¿Lo hacemos dedocráticamente? Perfect. Ok. Vamos a ver entonces. Yo sé que todos quieren participar. Si yo los miro, ustedes muy deseosos. Así que comencemos con Edwin Antonio, please. Go ahead, give us a definition of product development process. Let me think. Okay. So the development process uh, is when the people has an idea. And after that, the development a product to testing and after launching. Okay, to take it to uh, the, the public, right? Through a launching. Great, great, Edwin. Thank you. I know, Nelson Alberto. Yes, thank you for volunteering. Come on, tell us. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the okay. product development process. Uh, um, born 
born with a brainstorm, brainstorming um, with the all of the team mm -hmm. uh, that uh, that um, that the idea or the main idea is choose chosen chosen chosen, chosen. sorry mm -hmm. it's chosen and the development is a start but okay. when the product is done uh, begin uh, no start the testing of the product and when the team the team the team is sure about the product this product is launching uh, of the of the public mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay i'm seeing that you want to use and you like the passive voice edwin uh i'm sorry uh, nelson uh, you said is Launched, okay. Dijo también al principio, born, born es un verbo impersonal, entonces eh, hay que usarlo de esa manera. Por eso nosotros decimos, I was born, okay. Por eso no, no decimos, yo nací, porque no existe el verbo exactamente nacer, ¿verdad? Sino que existe el verbo eh, impersonal con un nombre, generado por un nombre de birth, ¿verdad? Entonces, vamos a decir así, is born. Ok, it's born. Que significa lo mismo que start, ¿verdad? O a beginning. Uh, también dijo otra de is developed. Ok, is, oh, the, the, the team, you said, yeah, is developed. Vaya, cuando usamos la voz pasiva, tenemos que usar la, el, la forma par, del verbo en participio, ¿ok? Siempre. El verbo be con ed si es regular o la forma eh, irregular, ¿verdad? Que corresponde. Thank you very much, Nelson. Okay, you did you. really a good job explaining all the process. Ok, Carlos Ernesto, thank you for participating. Come on. Tell us, what is the development process of a new product? Usando estas palabras que tenemos acá. Uh, your microphone is not working. Not yet. Me oye. Yes, now we can hear you. Mm -hmm. Okay. The first, the brainstorming. Uh, uh, um, with the first, uh, the product uh, include um, uh, for the best idea, uh, include by the screen and then development. Um, next, uh, testing it uh, um, is the result is good, but the launch. Okay, very good, easy, right? We do. Oh, I mean, Carlos and Nesta just used the verb be to describe all the process. Great, and that's what we need to do. Go to basics to order our ideas. That's the best strategy. Cuando nosotros nos preguntan algo, la mejor estrategia es ordenar nuestra idea regresando a lo básico. ¿Qué yo sé decir? Y descarto lo que no sé decir, ¿ok? Entonces, utilizo sujeto, verbo, complemento. Él utilizó perfecto. Dijo, brainstorming, mm -hmm. development, mm -hmm. testing, los usó como subjects, great. Great, great. Okay, people. Now, Ana Lorena. Hello. 
what is a product development process? Use these words to give a definition, a short definition. Okay, uh, the product development have four main steps. The first step is brainstorming, is when have some ideas and they uh, take one idea and develop the product for the next step that, uh, that is when you test the product and for the last step that is launch that is when you produce the product and commercialization it great great Clap. you did a good job you did a good job okay people so yes the brainstorming is where where we give our ideas see the need of the market to be fulfilled okay and then i start my process cleaning the path right of the things that are not useful but then i embrace a very good idea, the one that I think is the best, okay? Then I develop a concept, I develop the product, okay? Two things, concept and product. And everything is based on research. Everything is based on research, okay? Then we test, we test the market and we test the product, okay? Then we sell the product. Maybe in the launching, we are going to find some steps that are going to be important at the time that we want to get a feedback and to restart uh, the process with a new product to create a product line, okay? This is the idea. The idea is not to stop. The idea is to improve that new product or to create a product line, okay? To meet the needs of the market. Okay, then let's continue then, let's continue. Uh, we need tools. If we say that everything is based on research, marketing is based on that. Looking, uh, I mean, the simple observation, right? looking how the market is behaving, yeah. Uh, how uh, the products or the competitors are working, what are they doing, what am I doing, what is wrong, what is good, everything is research. Everything is research. Okay, then if everything is research, then we need to learn how to conduct a research. We need to conduct how to analyze the market, how to analyze the products, how to analyze the people, okay? So let's go and see that we were studying the SWOT analysis, remember? SWOT analysis. So today we want to mm, complete just a little bit more that idea about the SWOT analysis or that strategy concept. It has its own, I'm sorry, it has its, its own vocabulary. I'm sorry, guys, I'm sorry. Oh, I get lost. Just one sec. Okay, ayer no usamos todo esto. A ver, permítanme, permítanme. Ayer no lo usé todo esto. Salieron todo el examen. Ustedes ya sacaron 100, ¿verdad? Ya sacaron la copia. Sí, sí, sí. Ok, print shots. <ríe> ahora sí, ahora sí. Bien, es que ayer no la utilizamos esta. Hoy sí, aquí voy. So here it is, the SWOT analysis. Mm -hmm. 
So what is the SWOT analysis? This is your class number four. And the objective of this class is that you will be able to perform a SWOT analysis to determine the feasibility of a new product, okay? Feasibility of a new product. So if it is factible to uh, put it in the market in this moment or when is it going to be the best time, okay? And we're going to start by saying what is a SWOT analysis? What is a SWOT analysis? Ok, para poder construir nuestro vocabulario necesitamos aprender a decir definiciones. ¿Cómo damos una definición en español? Llega su bebé y le dice, papá, papá, eh, ¿y eso qué es? Ay, empieza uno, eh, es... Uh, y empieza uno a buscar relaciones, asociaciones de la palabra con ejemplos para que el niño comprenda, ¿ok? También es una buena estrategia, ¿verdad? Entonces, una de las estrategias para que podamos... Eh, bueno, y después ya no se le olvidó al niño, empieza a utilizar esa palabra. Es lo que nosotros queremos hacer, ¿verdad? Es lo que nosotros queremos cuando estudiamos un nuevo idioma. Conocer el, el vocabulario, pero conocer qué significa, cómo se usa, dónde se usa, cuándo se usa, quién lo usa, quién no. Ok, so this is what we are going to do right now. What is a SWOT analysis? What is a SWOT analysis? Well, it is a strategy to manage internal and external analysis to identify the aspects that directly or indirectly affect the development of the industry. Oh my God, this is kind of high. And I want to tell you that I made it, okay? I made it up. So let's say, empezamos entonces para dar una definición con el, eh, el, el término, ¿verdad? Este it significa como que yo estoy diciendo SWOT análisis, ¿verdad? SWOT, perdón, SWOT análisis. It is, verbo to be, porque es una demostración, ¿verdad? Entonces, it is a strategy to manage internal and external analysis. Oh, aquí ya vienen elementos, elements that we want to consider. Vamos a traer todos los elementos, acciones y cosas. Así definimos una palabra, así definimos un término, ¿sí? Ok, vamos a ver entonces. What is SWOT analysis? Denle una leidita a este concepto. Please read the concept. Okay, now think about the key words. Pensemos acerca de las palabras clave en esta definición. Si le quito todo lo demás con esas palabras clave, siempre voy a entender que es un SWOT análisis. Okay, vamos a buscarlas. Strategic. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. To development of the industry. Mm -hmm. Entonces, acordémonos siempre de esas palabras para poder dar una definición. Pero siempre comenzamos. Cuando nos preguntan, ¿qué es tal cosa? Empecemos por el nombre de la cosa y el verbo con, me, con que me lo preguntan, ¿verdad? What is a SWOT analysis? The SWOT analysis is a strategy. Mm, good. Mm -hmm. A strategy. Mm, does it have a purpose, that strategy? Mm, yes. Por acá tenemos, miren, estas palabritas así nos van a marcar las cosas importantes que son el propósito, miren. To, una dirección hacia qué, ¿verdad? Entonces, esto es propósito. 
quiere decir que a la par de to puede haber un verbo, ¿verdad? Entonces sería, it is a strategy to manage internal and external analysis. Ah, so this is the other, right? Ah, because that's in the name, right? Okay, there you go. And then to identify or to identify. Mm -hmm. Aspects, okay. Directly or indirectly, that's not important in this moment because we said internal and external. Mm -hmm. The development of the industry, okay. I stop. It is a strategy to manage, okay, to manage analysis, to manage analysis. What is the purpose to manage the analysis? To identify. To identify what? The development of the industry. Okay. Este es el propósito real, ¿verdad? Llevar eh, a conocer los aspectos que nos están afectando el desarrollo de la industria en la que estamos. Ajá. No solamente la industria. Entonces podemos poner the development y en general podemos poner del business o Miren, the company. Easy. Y ya le quitamos un montón, ¿verdad? Así estamos skimming. Esta es una estrategia para que recordemos las definiciones y aprendamos a definir más fácilmente. Cuando leemos una definición así grande, uh, lo hacemos automático en español. Pero ahora veamos cómo lo hacemos en inglés. It's the same. Okay? It is the same. It is a strategy to manage analysis to identify the development of the company. Great. Mm -hmm. And what does this acronym SWOT stands for? What does it stand for? What does it stand for? It stands for, the first letter is letter S, right? Strands, and we have opportunities, and uh, the threats with the letter T, okay? Aquí falta una, ¿cuál falta? Weaknesses. Yes, weaknesses, weaknesses right? Weaknesses. ¿Y con qué letra comienza? What letter does it start? W. Does it start with? Okay, W. W. Yeah, yes, there you go. We're going to add. Oops. Aha. Hmm. Uh -huh. Can you spell weaknesses for me, please? Mm -hmm. W E A. Help me, guys. A A A N E E S Double S. W S. E S. Okay, great, great. There you go. So S W O M T. Strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Very good. And where are we going to see this? En qué vamos a ver las o, o de quién son estas fortalezas, debilidades, oportunidades y amenazas? Uh, who is the object of this study or, or of this analysis? The company who is made, making the, the, the analysis. The company, great. So it has different aspects. A company, a company has different elements to analyze because the company is a group of things. It's not just one thing. It's a team. It's a... Uh, global but well, it's a globe but each thing has to be analyzed so veamos qué cosas son analizadas ah the yes, situ i'm sorry situational analysis or situational assessment then we are going to see that is the industry the company 
the initiatives of products or services, depending what the field of the company or the expertise, right? And the different audiences are good. So we have public people, I mean, public here. We need the people. We need to analyze people. What else do we analyze in audiences? A ver, ¿qué serían las audiencias? ¿Qué analizamos en las audiencias? ¿Qué gente hay en una compañía o se relaciona con una compañía? A ver, vocabulary. Hmm? The people. Potential customers. Okay, potential customers. Great. Uh huh. Buyers. Again. Suppliers. Suppliers. Correct. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Individual abilities. Individual. Uh, uh, Abilities. Okay, uh, so we were talking about employees. Yes. Okay, great. Employees. And we have the workforce. Okay, workforce. Yes, workforce. So we analyze our workforce. What's our strength if the workforce is a strength or it, it has weaknesses? Okay. So what other people do we have related to the company? Maybe the quality of the product. Ah, okay. Pero estamos hablando de la gente que se relaciona con la compañía. The quality of the product, of course. Eso es importantísimo como un elemento que vamos a poner en una situación de análisis, ¿verdad? Porque puede estar en cualquier etapa de la vida ese producto. So, yes, pero ahorita platiquemos y digamos las palabras que conocemos con las que nos referimos a personas relacionadas con la compañía. Por aquí tenemos. Could be a worker. Could be a marketing. Okay, oh, again, can you repeat? Uh, you said something uh, before. Uh, you, me dijeron algo relacionado a la gente, ¿verdad? Coworker. Coworkers, ok, coworkers. Uh -huh. eh, uh -huh. Managers. A Managers. Uh -huh. Accounting. I'm sorry. Partners. Yes, that's a way to call our um, co-workers. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no, no. Partners, yeah. Partners are people who put a part of the capital. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Vision. I'm sorry, I didn't get it. Vision of the company. Oh, the vision. Mm hmm Okay, yeah, the vision is designed for a um, for the people, yes, because that's the it's the people who's going to take the company to the positioning that we want, right? Or the product to the place that we want it in the market. Yes, you're right. Okay, people. So the audiences of a company are the market, right? In the market we have potential customers, suppliers workforce or employees, right? And they have their own individual abilities, right? Uh, co-workers are the people who work with us. Managers, the people who direct the company. Partners, partners are people who put the money together and trust in one idea together, right? They team up to uh, run a business. Okay, done. So uh, let's, Continue here. This is situational, okay? Situational analysis. It means it can be run anytime, anywhere of the company. Any area of the company can run a SWOT analysis, can run a SWOT analysis, okay? Porque es situacional. Media vez se presenta algo que podría... Eh, ser que nos afecte, vamos y vemos. 
está bajando la venta, vamos y hacemos un SWOT análisis. Un SWOT análisis. Vamos a ver, eh, se nos está, eh, nos está renunciando la gente, ¿verdad? De, de la compañía, nuestros empleados. Vamos, revisemos qué pasa. We analyze, we do the research, ¿ok? Entonces, vamos a ver. Para cualquier área, para cualquier situación, se necesita un análisis o una investigación. Y esta es una estrategia que podemos utilizar o las compañías utilizan precisamente para eso. Ya sea para que al final con los resultados, at the end with the results, podamos corregir, we can correct, ok, the direction of this company, where the company is going, para dónde va la compañía, o también puede ser para visualizar que lo estamos haciendo bien, ok, to visualize that we are okay and the other are in the bad direction, in the wrong direction, ok. So, vamos a ver entonces, vamos a practicar un poquito eh, acerca de las expresiones que podemos utilizar, por ejemplo, Necesitamos saber when, ¿verdad? When to run a SWOT analysis. Ahorita ya lo dijimos en español, pero when to run a SWOT analysis. Can you give me any idea? Can you give me ideas? When. Mm -hmm. When employees doesn't work anymore in the company. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. When the product is not the best seller. Ok. Ahora quiero que lo digamos de esta manera. Armemos lo completo la statement que estamos diciendo. Ok. When, lo voy a poner aquí abajo ahorita. Okay. When the people doesn't work in the company anymore. Is that what you say, uh, Wilbur, please correct me? Uh, uh, yes, in the company anymore. Mm -hmm. Anymore, aha, uh -huh. ahora tenemos que poner, we run a SWOT, SWOT analysis. Ok, algo así lo vamos a hacer, ok. Vamos a utilizar esta frase. We run a SWOT analysis when, ok. Or we run a SWOT analysis while, con los adverbios que aprendimos ayer, ok, while. Or um, we run a SWOT analysis before something, something. We run a SWOT analysis after, ¿ok? Vamos a hacer esto ahorita, ¿sí? Vamos a construir statements para poder decir eso. When is the best time? When is the best time to run a SWOT analysis? Let's remember that this is situational, okay? This is situational. So we are going to say, when? Tell me. Uh, Wilbur said this, right? Wilbur said, when the people doesn't work in the company anymore, we run a SWOT analysis. Okay. Any other idea? Eh, alguien me dijo otra, pero no la logré agarrar. Me la repite, por favor. Can you repeat it, Glenda? Yes. Um, we run a SWOT analysis um, before the product is the best seller in the, in the market. Before the product is the best seller in the market. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other example, guys? Tell me, Rafael. Uh, 
when the corporation open a new brand branch i don't know is branch like this branch yeah okay. uh, we run a SWOT analysis okay Great, thank you. Okay, Nancy, tell me. A company run a SWOT analysis when they want to introduce a new product in the market. To introduce the, a new product, right? Great. Um, I have. Uh, okay, please let me know. We run a SWOT analysis while. Um, damn it, I forget it. While are thinking in a new product development. We are thinking. When, when we are developing a new product. Again, again, again. We are, we are, pero primero me dijo, we are thinking develop. I changed uh, the process. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Uh -huh. Tell me. We run a SWOT analysis while we are developing a new product. Okay, tenemos el verbo eh, to be aquí pero tenemos el while, ¿verdad? Entonces, necesitamos acá un ing, verb form, ¿ok? Porque las dos cosas están sí. sucediendo al mismo tiempo, right? So, we are developing, ¿ok? Developing. ¿Ok? Developing. Mm -hmm. When we, uh, while we are developing <clears throat> a new product. Great. Mm -hmm. Okay, Carlos Eduardo. And we run a SWOT analysis. Uh, in a future or in present? We will in run? Ah, okay. No, we run. Okay. A SWOT analysis when the company has a bad service. Okay. Uh, no, service, 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 uh, yes. Uh, okay, mm, but service ratings, como para decir los resultados, ¿verdad? De las encuestas, ¿sí? Yes, correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. There you go. Uh, Ana Lorena? Yes, we run a SWOT a SWAT analysis when the company have has, huh? has, uh, has less sales. Sales? Sales? Uh -huh. Less sales. Mm -hmm. Less sales. sales. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, here we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sentences made by you guys. So now we know the time. That is important, the time, okay? Let's remember that the things can happen, I'm sorry, can happen both at the same time together, like using while, or can happen one thing, and the other interrupts the other thing with when, okay? When, when means that mm, the people doesn't work, right? But we run the SWOT analysis, okay? We run the, the SWOT analysis. When is placing the idea in the same time that the other happen the other thing is happening but interrupting or putting an end of the other one okay 
Now, let's see. Mm, here we have while. Before. Before means past. Okay. Mm -hmm. Before uh, means the past. Okay. And after means, yeah, that it's going to happen next. Okay. Let's see, and now this is when they want to introduce a new product in the market. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Recordemos entonces que los verbos deben ser conjugados, ¿verdad? Con el sujeto que acompañan. Okay. Is there any question so far about this? When is the best time to run a SWOT analysis? Mm -hmm. Is there any question? No, for me, it's no everything. Question. Okay, then let's go and see this because these are the words that we are studying, right? These are the words that we need to learn to use. How to use the adverbs, the adverbs, and mostly adverbs of time because we are reducing adverb classes of time. So we need to remember what's an adverb of, I mean, an adverb class. <clears throat> yeah, again. So uh, here we go. What's an adverb clause? Adverb clause. A ver, who wants to read this? A ver, todos leamos lo mejor. Todos digamos esta pregunta. What's an adverb clause? What's an adverb clause? An adverb clause. What's an adverb clause? Clause. Clause. Mm -hmm. clause. What's an adverb clause? The adverb clause. Hmm? Okay. Uh, the adverb clause has two elements subject and verb. Okay. It's a phrase. Okay. It's a phrase. It contains two elements, subject and verb. Usually that phrase doesn't have the complete meaning. We need the other clause, the independent, because this depends, the other clause depends on another one to complete the meaning, okay? So, how are we going to identify an adverb clause? Adverb clause will be identified if you answer questions like when, why, how, or where. So here we're saying that the adverbs are uh, classified differently. Uh, they have a variety of classifications. We can find adverbs of manner. We can find adverbs of time. We can have adverbs of frequency. Uh, what other adverbs do you know? Modal. Modal, okay. The modal, even though they are manner, manner mm. adverbs, uh -huh. place. The place adverbs, very important, okay? So yes, we have different kind of adverbs and there is a really big 
amount of adverbs in English. And we can also make an adjective as an adverb, okay? We can make it or uh, transform it in an adverb too, because we are usually testing, we are usually um, evaluating things in the way of they happen. And it's very important for us to identify a, an adverb clause. Let's say that an adverb clause, it's a group of words that function as an adverb in a sentence. It gives us the meaning of when, why, how, or where. And it's to complete the idea with another clause, okay? So let's think about this one, okay? And let's think, uh, how do you feel about these situations we've got over here? Pensemos en las situaciones. How do you feel about this situation? Vamos a ver. Aquí está la instrucción. Complete the sentences with e clauses from the list, then take turns reading your sentences with a partner. That's what we are going to do. For example, I love it. I love it. I like it. Uh -huh. It makes me happy. I don't mind it. It doesn't bother me. It annoys me. I don't like it. It really upsets me. I can't stand it. Okay. Estas son reacciones. These are reactions to express how we feel when something happens or when someone does something, even though you like it or you don't, okay? Whether you like it or not, you are going to react. What's the way to react? Mm. Vamos a decir, cuando expresamos lo que nos gusta, okay? De cuando alguien hace algo o um, una cosa sucede, tenemos estas reacciones. So let's think about the number one. Veamos qué dice. When, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How do you feel when someone gives you a compliment? How do you I feel like when someone gives like it, puppy. I like it. Okay, do you like it? Okay, mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. Okay, vamos a ver. How do you feel when you get phone calls on your birthday? It makes me happy. Makes me happy. All right. Uh -huh. There you go. Let's look at the other one. It's annoying. Uh -huh. wow. How do you feel when a stranger asks you for money? Does it bother you? <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. Uh huh. Look at this one. I can't stand this uh, superlative uh, degree. Okay, es un grado superlativo, el superlativo que de, ver, de verdad no lo puedo soportar, right? I can't stand it. I don't like it. It really like upsets it. me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Aquí it's hay caring. otra bien bonita, miren. It annoys me. Me, me, es, okay. es como algo, como de esta, hay una palabra que ahora está. Me incomoda o me molesta. Sí, sí, pero hay una palabra de moda perturbador. <laughs> Se han fijado que ahora en YouTube y en TikTok y en algo perturbador. Okay, something that annoys you, it's something like that. Algo perturbador, right? Me molesta. Ajá. Uh -huh. 
¿Cuál podríamos poner? A ver, díganme una respuesta. It annoys me. It annoys me, ok. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver entonces, next. Vamos a hacer una cosa, vamos a cambiar un poquito la estrategia. Hola, Dinanka. Vamos a pedir a alguien que pregunte, la pregu que haga la pregunta completa. How do you feel when... Bueno. Okay, y le cambia hacia el you, ¿verdad? Vale, vamos a ver. Le vamos a pedir a que empiece Wilber, ¿sí? Y luego al que Wilber le pregunte, él sigue, ¿ok? O ella. Ok. But, uh... With the number four, ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. When people call me late, late at night, it uh, annoys me. Ah, okay. Eh, la idea es así, mire, I know, I know that's not a good thing. Pero la idea es que usted va a escoger a alguien y le va a preguntar, how do you feel when okay. people call you late at night? Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Raúl. How you feel when people call you late at night? Let me see. Yeah. You don't like it, or you ya lo usaron, quiero ver. Ah, no hay problema. Ahorita estamos libremente. Este es nada más. Can I repeat? Mm -hmm. Of course, of course. Okay, it's a noise to me mm -hmm. when people call me late at night. Very good. Now, Raul, it's your turn. Choose a classmate and ask the question. How do you feel when teachers are temperamental? Sorry? Ahora usted tiene que hacerle la pregunta. You have to ask the question to another classmate, number five. Okay, let me see who this is. Uh, I don't remember the... The names? Ah, how do you feel when teachers are temperamental? Okay. Mm. I don't like it. Okay. When teachers are temperamental. Great. Now it's your turn. Please choose another classmate and ask the question number six. Okay. Mm, for profile. Um, how do you feel when, when people are direct and say what's on their mind? So that's happened to me to, today. Oh my okay. goodness. Now uh, fresh, fresh from the market. Yes. <laughs> I don't like it when people are direct and say what's on their mind. Okay. I don't like it. I don't like it. Es todavía suavecito. Okay. A ver, si de verdad no, o sea, si de verdad eso le molesta, puede usar cualquier otra. It really upsets me. De verdad no. que me enoja, ¿verdad? O sea, it really That's upsets recorded. me. Ah, oh, ok. Is it recorded? Yeah, like it is. Ok. I don't like it. Ok. I don't like it. Ok. Well, no okay. problem. Mm -hmm. Now it's your turn, Rafael. Uh, uh, the question is for Glenda. 
uh, how do you feel when someone corrects your English in front of others? <laughs> and it doesn't bother me when someone correct me in English in front of other because I'm learning. Great. Great. Mm -hmm. Now it's your turn. Okay, let me see who is available. And Ana Lorena. Hello. How do you feel when a friend is sensitive and supportive? I love it when a friend is sensitive and supportive. Hmm. Okay, Christina. How do you feel? Uh, when people throw trash on the ground? Mm. It really is it, is it me. Upsets me. Upsets me. Okay. It really upsets me. It upsets really, me. Yeah, upsets me. Mm. Now it's your turn, please. Do I mean ask the question to another classmate? Okay. Um, Ernesto Hernandez. How do you feel when a friend treat treat me to dinner? Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't bother me when a friend treats me to dinner. <laughs> Okay, there you go. So here we are. I like it when someone gives me a compliment. Ajá. Vaya, vamos a ver. Abran todos sus micrófonos y lo leemos. Sí, yo solo voy a ir señalando la eh, statement. Okay, vamos. Okay. One, two, and three, everybody. I like no. it when someone gives me a compliment. It makes me happy when I get phone calls. It makes me happy when I get phone calls on my birthday. It annoys me when a stranger asks me for money. I don't like, I don't it. like it when teachers are temperamental. I mean, at night. I don't, I don't like, like it, it when, when people are, are very direct and they watch on their mind. I don't, I don't bother me, me when someone corrects my English, my English, English, my English in front of others. others. I, love I love it when a friend is in a serious sense of support. It really upset me when people throw on the ground. It doesn't bother me when 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 it doesn't bother me it says okay <laughs> no me molesta I like it right okay people so this <clears throat> is something that is marking the time to feel okay when <clears throat> these activities happen, okay, then I have a reaction, right? I have something and it's the exact time to feel something, okay, then. So we are marking the time with the word when, with the word when. So this is an adverbial clause, okay? This is an adverbial clause. So now um, we are going to see the next activity. Our next activity, it's kind of easy. You are going to reduce the clauses, okay? You are going to reduce the clauses. Just remember what's the way to do it. Let's remember what's the way to reduce the adverb clauses. Vamos a ver por acá. One second.
So the upper closes, closes we're uh, studying, they could start with before, after, when, while, and since. It's marking the time of anything, okay? Any stage in any process, okay? In any situation we are going to use before, after, when, while, since. And this is going to be the dependent clause, okay? The dependent clause. And we are going to remember that if in the two clauses we have the same subject, we can reduce it. We can reduce it, okay? We are going to eliminate the subject. We are going to eliminate all form of B. And if it is another verb, we are going to make it as ing verb form, okay? Se me está perdiendo el mouse. Vamos a ver. Entonces, ¿cuál es la condición? What's the condition? The same subject. And if it is B, we eliminate. And, okay, then the condition here is that if we have different subjects in the classes, we are not going to reduce it. We are not going to reduce it. It's not possible because we are making a confusion. We are creating a confusion. Okay, then we are going to uh, reduce some of them. We're going to start with this one. Let's reduce the adverbial clause of time, but let's look at if it is possible. If it is not possible, we are going to leave it just as it is. So before I agree to your idea. Mm -hmm. What is the adverbial clause here? Before I agree. Exactly. Before I agree to your idea is the adverbial clause of time. Okay, so the other is the independent one, okay? Let's look at the subject. Do we have the same subject in the adverbial clause and in the independent clause? Yes. Hi. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what do we have to do to reduce the adverbial clause? Eliminate the subject. Eliminate the subject. Okay, we eliminate the subject and? And ing. Okay, then can you say the adverbial clause reduced? Como quedaría? Before the original statement. I think that. Okay, please say it, say it. I need your pronunciation. I, I need your speaking, okay? Before agreeing to your idea, I will need to see a detailed market. Cierren la, cierren la puerta. Please close it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's closed already. Get the key. <laughs> yes, you're going to be outside. <laughs> don't lock at the door. Okay, don't lock the door. Sorry for that. No problem. No problem. It's okay. But remember your audience, gay, guys, because it's important. Okay. Before agreeing to your idea, I'll need to see a detailed analysis. Okay. I'm not going to authorize it if you don't 
agree, okay? Uh, if you don't present your analysis, okay. Let's continue with the next one, with the next one. Okay. We can change before it's different. Closer. Have three subjects if we we. Okay, what's the adverbial clause here? Before but, we can before we can comment. Okay, so that's the adverbial clause of time, right? Mm -hmm. Is it the same subject in the adverbial clause and in the independent clause? Do they have the same subject? Yes. yes. Will, we. We, we. Mm -hmm. Okay. In the adverbial clause, the subject is we. Yes. The independent clause is this one. We. Some people think that this is the independent clause. No, it isn't. It's this one. Okay. So we'll need to do a complete analysis before we can commit. All right. Let's reduce it. Como quedaría? Before we can commit in to do computer marking analysis. Okay, but there is something that we need to mm -hmm. know here, okay? Before we can commit, what's the main verb here? What's the main verb? Is it can or is it commit? Commit. Okay, then the main verb is commit. This is just an auxiliary, I'm sorry, an auxiliary, an auxiliary verb of possibility, okay? So we are going to say that we are going to reduce this, eliminating the verb, and also we are going to eliminate that other one, okay? Everything that goes there, and we are going to add the ing, okay? So we could say that. It sounds like a great idea, but we'll need to do a complete market analysis before committing, okay? Before committing. Antes de comprometernos, okay? Porque no podemos decir nunca, nunca, jamás vamos a usar un ING con el Ken. Con el que usamos siempre un, eh, un verbo en infinitivo, ¿verdad? O en una forma base, a base form. Okay. Let's go to the next one. Let's move. Is it okay? Is it okay with this one? It's okay. All right. Let's look at the next one. For a subject, it's not possible. Okay, let's start with the analysis. Let's start with the analysis. Where, what's the adverbial clause? Since we are expanding, expanding. since we're expanding to the model guidance. Okay. Since we are expanding into the mobile games mar market, then we are going to see, does it have the same subject? What's the subject in the adverbial clause? We, okay? Is it the same subject in the independent clause? No, it isn't. A ver, contestemos completo, chicos. Yo les pregunto, is it the same subject? No, it isn't. 
Okay, no vamos a decir solo no, vamos. No, it isn't. This business pays. Ah, okay. So, can we or can't we reduce, reduce this? Can or can't? No, can't. Can't, okay? Can't can. reduce. Yes, it's not possible. So you can say can, can't reduce. Let's go to the next one. A ver, esta usted solito, ¿sí? Please don't be afraid. Read it. A ver. Vaya, vayan al chat y me la ponen ahí ya reducida. Okay, really close, really close. Thank you, Ana Lorena. Okay, let's read it. It says, in the toy industry, we consider really important pricing and pricing and packaging while we are implementing any go-to market strategy. Go to market. Vamos a ver entonces. Empecemos nuestro análisis. Let's start our analysis. Todo análisis tiene un proceso, okay? What is the adverbial clause here? We are, we are implementing any go-to-market strategy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay. So our adverbial clause of time will be while we are implementing any strategy of invading the market, right? So we're going to say this adverbial clause has the same subject as the independent clause. Let's look at the subject. What's the subject? We. It's the we. same subject. Okay. Let's look at the other subject. We consider really important. So it's the same subject. 
Can we reduce it? Yes, we can. So we are going to eliminate the subject and R. Exactly, eliminate the verb B, okay? What are we going to do? We are going to leave the verb as it is because it's with an ing, right? So we're going to say, look, In a toy industry, we consider really important pricing and packaging while implementing any go-go market strategy. Esto quiere decir, y esto se usa para hacer más corto, más eh, fluida la comunicación, y se utiliza también precisamente para ahorrar papel y tinta. No, no es cierto. Eh, se usa para precisamente... Eh, Llegar al punto, ¿ok? Llegar al punto, sin tanta vuelta, ¿ok? While implementing, while implementing. Porque ya se sobreentiende que es we, ¿ok? Que nosotros somos los que implementamos la, estas estrategias. Vale. Vamos a ver, quiero ver en el chat los que me acaban de llegar. Ajá. Mm, ok, tenemos que quitar el subject. Acuérdense que es una de las eh, condiciones, ¿verdad? Let's look at the other one. It says in the toy industry. Ok. Uh -huh. Ajá, por aquí tenemos a alguien que sí lo hizo. A ver. Que sí le quitó el subject. Sería Wilbur, ¿verdad? Ok, Wilbur, that's correct. That's the way of doing it. Remember. Eliminate the subject, subject. I, eliminate I, a verb B. And we're going to add ING verb form. And we had it over there, so we are not changing it. Okay, let's continue with the other one. Yeah, I have a question. Okay, tell me. Uh, this kind of rule, we uh, check this kind of rule in the book, for example. If I talk, uh, I think that I can recognize this rule. I don't know if you understand. Actually, I, I'm trying to get your point. Are you talking about the manual? Uh, no. Uh, let me explain in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Just uh, tell me. Uh, sí, digamos, por ejemplo, estas reglas nosotros lo vamos a ver nada más, digamos, en libros, en lectura, pero, digamos, por ejemplo, si yo estoy hablando, digamos, para mí me, me cuesta, digamos, por ejemplo, con que decir oraciones, ya poner, agregar este tipo de reglas. Eh, pero sí, es necesario, es ne son necesarias todas las reglas gramaticales. Esto se llama la sintaxis de la oración, es exactamente lo que nosotros aprendemos cuando eh, armamos oraciones, ¿verdad? Y ya cuando vamos haciendo oraciones compuestas, necesitamos ver cómo armar la otra oración. Si lleva o no lleva sujeto, si se dice de esta manera, se dice de la otra, se le puede poner, se le puede quitar, significa esto o no significa esto. Y esto sirve precisamente para speaking English, ¿ok? Este sirve muchísimo más para speaking English que para eh, writing, ¿ok? Porque cuando usted yeah. escribe, usted le pone todos los colochos que usted quiera y lo embellece y lo hace más grande y le pone. Pero cuando usted habla, habla directo al punto, ¿ok? Entonces, no, eh, todas estas normas, estas reglas son gramaticales, pero eh, para que tengamos un hablado correcto, para que hablemos correctamente, ¿ok? Ok, thank you. There you go. Hmm? Okay, let's continue with the other one. What's the adverbial clause here? Before the company launches a new product. Okay. 
Okay, before the company launches a new product. Okay. Hmm. Does it have the same uh, subject as the independent class? Yes, the company. Okay. And the company is the subject, right? Okay. And what is the subject of the independent class? Apple. Apple. Apple, correct. So is it the same company that we are talking about? Yes. Yes. Yes, it is. Yes, yes is. it is. Okay. Yes, it is. So we can reduce this, right? We can do it. How are we going to reduce this? Apple does a great job of building excitement before launching a new product. There you go. Yes, correct. Okay. Apple does a great job building excitement before they, I mean, before launching a new product. Right. Mm -hmm. So let's look at the next one. What's the adverbial clause? After three years being. After three years analyst. being. After analyst. three years being a business analyst. 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 Mm -hmm. analyst. Mm -hmm. I got promoted to product manager. Okay. Uh, is it the same? Is it the same? a subject here or is it already reduced? What do you see? Is there a subject in the adverbial clause? No, it is not. Okay, it doesn't have any subject there. Okay, then it's already reduced. Yes, it's already reduced. Porque se sobreentiende que después de tres años, Ese que está diciendo, ¿verdad? Siendo un analista de negocios, eh, fui promovido a el siguiente, a la gerencia, ¿verdad? Del producto. ¿Ok? Vamos a ver. Entonces ya está reducida, ¿verdad? It's already reduced. Vamos a ver a la siguiente. Already es otro adverb. ¿Ok? Already. Ya. Already. Vamos. No tengan miedo de leerlo, por favor. Please, don't be afraid. What's the adverbial clause here? Since you put together a good business case. Since you put together a good business case. Since you put together a good business case. Mm -hmm. send it to the product team teacher how how you pronounce the first word <laughs> what word since is yes, since, mm -hmm. uh, since the first word is since since, since. Mm -hmm. yes okay. thank you mm -hmm. Since es un adverbio de tiempo, ¿ok? Y este since, in, está, since está marcando el inicio de algo, desde, ¿ok? Since you put together a good business case, I will help you with, uh, let me look. I will help you present it to the product team, ¿ok? Is it possible to reduce it? Do we have the same subject, Luke? No. No, right? So we cannot reduce it. We can't reduce. I mean, you, we, we can reduce this uh, statement. Y la vamos a decir tal como está, ¿verdad?
Mm -hmm. What is the adverbial clause? When the team, when the team analyzes, analyzes the production, the production process. process. All right. And uh, is it the same? Is it the same subject? I think yes. Yes, yes they. they. Yes, because they are talking about the people in the team, right? So yes, when the team analyzed the production process, they discovered a number of problems in the distribution process. Okay, then, <laughs> how would you reduce this? Yes. How? When it's in the production, production process, process they discovered a number, a number of problems in the distribution process. Great, it means that it doesn't matter the tense of the verb, we are going to do the same, following the rule, okay? When analyzing, okay? We eliminate the subject and we use an ing perform. When analyzing, when analyzing the production process, they discovered a number of problems in the distribution process, okay? Vamos a ver, solo nos quedan dos, ok, las vamos a hacer tranquilos. <risa> ya de un solo les di la respuesta. Ok, ajá. Uh -huh. Let's read it. The goal of Tony's plan was uh, very clear. He, want... He wanted he wanted to increase sales by 14% over the next six months. Okay, the next six months. Is that an adverbial clause? The next six months? No, right. We have an adverb there, but it's not an adverbial clause. Okay? Even though it's... It, it, uh, answers the questions when, how much, okay? But no, we have no adverbial plot here, okay? So we've got to be careful at the time we speak. Okay, so the goal of Tony's plan is the subject of one of the sentences here, but they are totally independent. Aquí los dos, las dos son situaciones eh, independientes, ¿ok? Aquí no tenemos una que dependa de la otra. Sí tenemos que es el mismo en la otra, ¿ok? Lo que debería de cambiar acá es esta coma, ¿sí? Porque debería ser como me... Eh, eh, para poder separar dos oraciones... Un punto y coma, ¿verdad? A semicolon. Okay, the last one. So we cannot reduce it because we have no adverbial class on it. So let's see the last one. This is the adverbial class, okay? This is the adverbial class. What's the subject in the adverbial clause? Wow, my boy was telling me about ¿Cuál será el sujeto en la frase adverbial o en la cláusula adverbial? My, my boss. My boss, he. Ok. My boss. Si es hombre, decimos que es he, ¿verdad? Pero sí, también mi jefa puede ser mujer. Entonces puede ser she, ¿verdad? tercera persona. Ok. While my boss was telling me about our scheduling difficulties, I... I devised a plan to have a 
updated schedules automatically. Aquí hay un montón de adverbios, ¿verdad? Pero vamos a ver. Aquí hay un montón de adverbios, pero estamos en la frase adverbial, ¿sí? Entonces, veamos el sujeto acá, era my boss. Yes. Pero acá el sujeto es... I. 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 So, can we or can we reduce it? Mm, no. No, I think not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not. ¿Qué pasaría si yo la hago chiquita o la reduzco? A ver, ¿cómo sonaría si la redujera? O sea, no lo vamos a reducir porque la norma dice que no, pero si la redujéramos, si cometiéramos el error, pues, de reducirla, diría, while telling me about our scheduling difficulties, I devised a plan to have updated schedules automatically. And then we are going to say, who? Yeah, nos queda esa confusión ahí. Porque usted no se puede decir usted solito, ¿verdad? ¿Ya? Yeah. Cuando yo me estaba diciendo, no, no, no. O, ¿quién? ¿Sí? Por eso crea esa confusión y por eso no lo podemos reducir. Alguien que me esté escuchando va a decir, vos, ah, lo que hacía Kiko eh, y, y el chavo, ¿se acuerdan? ¿Vos o la, eh, Kiko o la chilindrina? Pues Kiko, ¿ok? Ah, es, es la misma situación, ¿sí? Genera la confusión. No se sabe de quién estamos hablando, ¿sí? Bye. Entonces, it's not possible, right? We cannot reduce it. Okay. Let's start sharing. Tenemos ahorita 15 minutos, 15 minutes. Nosotros queremos hacer una presentación, ¿sí? Queremos hacer una presentación cortita. Entonces, ustedes van a hacer un análisis. Ustedes van a hacer un SWOT análisis. Por ahí, en la plataforma, les posteé las instrucciones que están en su manual. ¿Ok? Están en su manual. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Déjenme explicarles y solo nos vamos a poner de acuerdo unos... 10 minutitos que nos faltan, ¿verdad? Nos vamos a ir al break up room para ponernos de acuerdo de hacer ese análisis. Vamos a trabajar mañana también aquí la presentación, pero desde el día de hoy su mente ya debe de ubicarse que vamos a utilizar todo este vocabulario, ¿verdad? Que hemos visto para eso precisamente. Entonces, déjenme explicarles bien eso. Allow me to... Uh, oh, just give me one second. Por ahí en la plataforma ya lo tienen posteado abajo de esta videoconferencia de la que tocaría para el día de hoy. Entonces, ahí ustedes van a tener las instrucciones y eh, ahorita no me carga eso, así que lo vamos a hacer así. Lo vamos a hacer con el slide y luego vemos. Ustedes van a la plataforma y lo miran, ¿sí? Vamos a preparar dos minutos. Two minutes of presentation. What are we going to do? You can decide on a new product. Okay, you can decide on a new product or service that your company might launch to the market. So remember that you have to use a uh, good questions to get information related related to each of the stages of the SWOT analysis. What are the SWOT analysis the stages? This one, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. We're going to see strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. And then we're going to see that Uh, por ahí les puse yo un video, les posté un video acerca, que está también en su manual, el link, es de Starbucks. Están analizando Starbucks, las fortalezas, las debilidades, las oportunidades y las amenazas de Starbucks. Toman ese de ejemplo y ustedes van a run a SWOT analysis. 
Ahora, basados o based in the results of the SWOT analysis, ustedes tienen que pensar o decidir cuál idea, digamos, de, eh, pueden lanzar como un nuevo producto, ¿sí? Y eh, obviamente, pues, vamos a ver cuál de, de sus ideas entre ustedes como grupo van a decidir hacer, van a decidir eh, crear. Y eso que creen el día de, eh, o el de mañana, o el, esa va a ser la base para las demás unidades, ¿ok? Esa va a ser el producto que ustedes vayan ahorita a analizar dependiendo de si tienen una línea de producción o algo así. Entonces van a dejarlo ya listo para que esa sea nuestra base para las siguientes. Ok, siempre todo el curso vamos a hablar de ese producto que ustedes ahorita vayan a lanzar en idea. Van a ver las fortalezas. Dijimos que el SWAT puede ser implementado en cualquier espacio, tiempo, momento necesario. Entonces, the product development process, the brainstorming idea is a very good place where you can decide what the pros and cons, ¿verdad? Las fortalezas y debilidades con esta idea. Las fortalezas, debilidades con esta idea, pero también las amenazas externas, ¿verdad? O las eh, oportunidades que podemos lograr. Ok, vamos a irnos entonces al break room a ponernos de acuerdo, ¿sí? Para esta, este trabajo. Solo una pregunta. El producto o escojamos, eh, puede ser de una empresa que ya existe yo creo que sí, yo creo que sí si ya existe incluso la, la línea de producción y quiere crear un nuevo producto para e, de, dependiendo de esa marca, también también solo que al momento de hacer su presentación tenga cuidado de no poner imágenes de eh, que tengan copyright ¿verdad? O derechos de autor porque nos pueden bajar el, el, el video ¿verdad? Uh -huh. De ahí, de lo okay. contrario, no hay problema. Uh -huh. Ok. Good. Gracias. Uh -huh. Bien, vamos a ir rapidito solo a ponernos de acuerdo unos cinco minutitos. Quiere decir que ese va a ser su grupo de aquí para allá. Ámelo, quiéralo a su compañero, por favor o a su compañera, porque va a ser su equipo de aquí para allá. Es más, me gustaría, no va a llevar mucho tiempo, lo podemos asignar así. Vamos. Tell me, Carlos Alberto. Uh -huh. Carlos Alberto, usted quedaría en el grupo uno. Rosa, Rosa, usted está asignada al grupo dos. Necesitan ir a ponerse de acuerdo con sus compañeros. hacer un usuario. Uh -huh. yeah, uh, I, I don't know what stage. the yes, yeah, thank you. Uh, it's a, a good idea. Maybe big.
will be easy because we don't have to produce nothing. It's only design the idea of the service, what kind of service, yeah. and like it, the will be only for food or we bring the service uh, uh, transport and other things. Yeah, yeah they have a lot of stage for the SWAT. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Hello. Okay, that's a very good idea, Jose Miguel. Okay, just uh, allow me to tell you that Carlos Alberto is assigned to this group too, okay? Solo que él ahorita está como oyente, he's a listener, so that's why he's not right here. Carlos Alberto, incluyanlo ahí, pónganle una actividad, okay? Okay. There you go. Okay. Spinach, espinaca, ¿cómo se dice? Espinach. Espinaca. Fátima y yo. Spinach. Spinach. Are you agree with the topic? Oh. I agree. Okay. Fátima. Are you agree with a uh, topic? A new drink, natural drink. Café natural o qué? Eh, yes. Una bebida, un refresco natural. Ah, eh, un jugo de mango maduro. Pero si están de acuerdo que trabajemos en un, en un refresco natural, o sea, ah. porque se supone que va a ser como lo que vamos a trabajar en todo el módulo. ¿Les parece la idea? Ahí hago yes. No sé si están de acuerdo que trabajemos individualmente un, un FODA en Share Tomorrow, porque se supone que en eso vamos a trabajar, entonces como para ver qué idea se nos ocurre a cada uno. Yes, it could be, but first we have to know what product we are, are we talking about? What fruit are we talking about in a specific? In specific? Mm -hmm. uh, Yo dije mis frutas, <laughs> pero no sé ustedes. Está rara esa fruta. <laughs> eh, estaba rara, pero sabrosa. It, it was right, but delicious. Okay. I recommend you. This ¿Cómo se dice? Fruta de temporada. Seasonal fruit. Ajá, seasonal fruit. For the price. price. Ajá. Ajá. Tal vez podría ser eso. Eh, como según la temporada, para no dejar como una fruta en específico. Decir que va a ser según de, la fruta de temporada. Sí, de hecho es una fruta de temporada. Ajá. And this mm -hmm. this way can change the the flower flavors. Make a menu. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. In the chat, have a, a message. Ah. Say. Like says teacher on the chat. Uh -huh. We can. Good idea. We can do a line. And you can also produce a line on three different flavors. Okay. Okay, we can do this. Uh, we can do uh, three. ¿Cómo podemos decir? ¿Cómo digo sabores? Flavors. Okay, perfect. We can do three flavors, each one, and do the SWAT. And after that, share share us. Uh -huh. Okay. And tomorrow, decide the weather uh, about 
all the ideas. Okay. I don't know what I'm thinking about the other classmates. Gamma. Okay, but it has a a new food. We can comment about some food existent. Uh, mix. It's a mixed product. Yeah. Ah, uh, a yes. bumbu combo. Yeah, bumbu combo. Yeah. What? But... Yes. <laughs> for for five or six persons. <laughs> yes. Ah. But uh, which one the food? One, two, or three. Uh, we can. Probably. Uh, pone, uh, pone un ejemplo. ¿Qué te gustaría de comida? Uh, cada quien de un ejemplo, digamos, yo puedo hacer un lanzamiento. Okay, okay. For example, I I I like the roasty pork legs. I don't know is the the pierna. Yes. Yeah. Ese ya está. Lex, but Lex is like a human. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, that soup of uh, rabbit. Tell me in uh, rabbit. tell me in, in Spanish. Like, Ross and ah, okay, thank you. Rose Hamlet. How would it be? Rose. Rose Hamlet. Pork leg. Pork leg. Pork leg. What's the ah, meaning okay. for pork leg? Cerdo. Pierna de cerdo. Yeah. Okay. And pork leg and, and what's more? Um, the combo includes a rice portions for five persons and and ribs that's good ribs the uh about the drink uh the drinks are the specialty of the house uh with al alcohol is necessary <laughs> but, <laughs> but but it's about friends yeah, right. A sake. Uh, a spirit of the rice. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. okay. Puede ser enfocado a amigos, digamos, a, a, para lanzar un nuevo producto. Creo que se yes, más yes. Cuando, está, cuando están los amigos. Is it with your friends? friends. It's a, it's a topic, for example. Enjoy with your friends or or combo. Enjoy or the time combo. with your friends at a number of the company with the new product or the new dishes that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hi. Hi, teacher. Yeah, I'm coming everybody now. Yes. <laughs> okay. I will call the roll, guys. Am I in the main room? Yes. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Okay, dear pupils, we're going to call the roll. Hey. Se emocionaron todos, creo, chicos, porque miren, no regresan. Esperemos que, esperemos que, este, eh, 
Regresen. Hey, hey. Sí, se emocionaron porque miren, no vienen. Esperemos que no <risa> hayan tenido excited. problema de, con, de conexión, ¿verdad? Para regresar, que se perdieron en el camino. Ok, there we go. I'm, going, I, I'm calling the roll, guys. Please turn your camera on and stay present when you hear your name. We are going to do it quickly. Ana Lorena Lobato Orellana. Present. Blanca, Ore, Blanca Jennifer Torres de Martínez. Present here. Carlos Alberto Domínguez Martínez. Carlos Eduardo Torres Durán. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Hey, please, guys, stay present. present. Ok. Present, teacher. Ok. Carlos Francisco Arias Sánchez. Hey. Cristina Edith Ramos. Present. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Present. Eulice Torres Torres. Fátima Present. Noemí Umaña Castro. Present. Glenda Josefina Toledo Leiva. José Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. I'm here. Juan Atilio Serrano. Karen Lizeth Sánchez Castro. Present. Ok. Nancy Margarita Morán Morán. Present. Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejía. Present. Rafael Alexander Cerna Díaz. Present teacher. Raúl Ernesto González. Present teacher. Rosa del Carmen Enríquez Flores. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Present. José Miguel <coughs> Torres Hernández. Present. Okay, people, so uh, the session one on one tonight turn is for um uh, do, 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 do. I'm sorry just one second Carlos Alberto Dominguez was yesterday right Carlos Eduardo Torres Duran Carlos Eduardo do you yes. want to stay with me yes okay ok bueno ayer se acabaron los pisques pero ya vamos a ver qué conseguimos pupusita tía de queso aunque sea bye Vamos pues, see you tomorrow, see you and do your homework. Bye everybody. Good night. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Take care. Tomorrow. Take care. See you tomorrow. Have a very good rest. Okay, here we are, Carlos Eduardo. How can I assist you? Do you have any questions so far about the content in the first? Maybe with the platform, because today I was looking for the uh, uh, for the chat. No discussion. Ah, uh, yes, discussion. Mm -hmm. Yes, but you say yesterday that uh, you will up. up the a video yes i did i did yeah, but i couldn't find you okay find i will the, help the... you to get there okay i will help you to get there Okay, you access to the intermediate module too. Mm -hmm. And then yes, here, yes. do you see mm -hmm. here we yeah. have the discussion? Okay, mm -hmm. discussion label. So you access there and here it says todos los temas, all the mm -hmm. topics. You click on it and you are going to find this. The uh, first one is running a SWOT analysis, SWOT analysis and this is the product development process activity that you can participate in. Here we have a video, look. Uh, okay. Click on the video, uh, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> click on the link and watch the video. Then okay. you are going to write the sentences you hear in that video. 
Usted las va a escribir oh, así sí. como respuesta aquí. Todas las oraciones que escuchó en el presente perfecto, ¿verdad? Todas sí, las que son en ese formato, en ese tiempo verbal que están en ese video, usted las va a escribir acá. Y okay. la siguiente actividad es la de hoy, ¿verdad? Por ahí les posteé este video también para que lo tomen como ejemplo. Y aquí a, tiene eh, la descripción de lo que, para que no se le olviden ahí las, las instrucciones, ¿verdad? De cómo mm. hacer la presentación. ¿Ok? Ah, ok. Entonces, esta es la label, mire. Y le da a todos los temas para que le aparezca, porque así no aparece. Sí, solo eso, ajá, solo eso me parecía y sí iba a cliquearle, pero no, no había cliqueado ese todos los temas. Ah, ok. Eh, lo que pasa es que está esta opción, ¿verdad? También sí. hay otra forma, si, si se le dificulta de esa manera, en el momento que usted vaya a probar, usted entra normal, mire, a la clase, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entra normal. Y tenemos la primer video, el segundo video, el tercer video. Luego en el video de hoy, usted uh -huh. se va hasta abajo. Mire, you scroll down to the bottom of the page y va a encontrar la actividad uh -huh. también. Uh -huh. Ahí la encuentra también. Igual, da el mismo clic y tenemos ahí la actividad. Y aquí también le da para contestar. Mire, aquí usted contesta y envía. Okay. Estamos bien. Bueno, sí, ahí está. está bien. Ok. Cualquier cosa estamos a la orden, ¿verdad? Para sí. eh, cualquier situación, ¿verdad? Ya sea así como esta. Muy bien. Uh -huh. ¿Y ya hizo las tareas? ¿Ya hizo la tarea número uno y la dos? Sí, solamente ¿Sí? la tres, que no la había entendido ayer en la noche, no, no mucho la había entendido, pero ahora sí ya. Ya también de captar la idea. Ah, la ok. La Ajá. Es que este es para reducirlas, ¿verdad? Este mm -hmm. es para reducirlas. Entonces dice, read the statements below. Reduce the adverb clauses to adverb phrases. Entonces acá lo que va a poner sería after y luego cómo va a quitar el... Acordémonos de ah, las reglas, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Quitar el sujeto. Mm -hmm. Ok. Ok. Muy bien. Sí, ahí solamente es. Ok, ok, then. No more questions. All right, no, then. No. My pleasure. And if you don't have any more questions, then see you tomorrow, Carlos. Okay. See you. Okay, have a very good night. Bye-bye.